Matt Berninger, lead singer of the five-piece rock band The National, prowls the main stage of the Haven Festival in Copenhagen, sloshing a pint of white wine on the rocks, what he calls Cincinnati Sangria. He's smartly dressed in varied shades of dark gray, charcoal and faded black, and has the air of the charismatic lecturer whose female students all have a crush on him. Looking on from the side of the stage, watching the rapt expressions of the fans, it calls to mind the scene in one of the Indiana Jones films where he's trying to talk to a class about an obscure archaeological find, only for a girl in the front row to blink and reveal she has, love you, written on her eyelids. Berninger, who is 46, is a compelling front man. He is known for his rambling, drunken forays into the audience, so much so that he began to wear shin guards under his suit to protect his legs as he clambered over railings. But he also, counterintuitively, suffers from panic attacks and extreme stage fright. At the Eau Claire's Festival in Wisconsin in 2015, Berninger forgot the lyrics to a handful of songs. After that, he began to use a teleprompter on stage, and his anxiety has since been much reduced. It does, however, lead to the Ankangrua situation, such as at Haven, where Berninger will look out and see 20,000 people mouthing words he has written, and he's the only one who doesn't know what comes next. Having the lyric monitor has made me enjoy the shows, I would say, almost for the first time. Berninger tells me, before he goes on to perform, you know, it Feels humiliating to be on stage singing love songs with lights on you in front of people. I mean, it just is. But I've learned to own that and to enjoy the nakedness of it. I just feel if you're going to be that naked, then just run around with your arms out. If you need an introduction, the National are America's Radiohead.